Welcome to our course, Introduction to Acoustics. Uh, we will essentially talk about how the sound is generated, so generation of a sound, and then generated sound will propagate. So propagation, that's what we have to understand. And then uh, we will hear the sound, or we could say reception of sound, hearing. So uh, uh, in this course, what we are going to uh, explain to you is uh, first how the sound is generated like this, how the sound is generated, or how sound is generated and how this generated sound is propagating into medium and how degenerated sound propagated and then how we receive or how we hear the sound. Okay, uh, so in the first chapter we will talk about the relation between vibration and waves. Okay, vibration is something oscillating with a certain period of time, like this. So as you can see here, when I oscillate this more rapidly, then the frequency will increase. That's the uh, very typical measure of a time fluctuation in vibration. But if you have a string like this, and if I oscillate this string over here with a certain with a certain frequency, uh, say frequency f, then the wave will be generated and then propagating into this direction. Okay, what if I have some uh, boundary over here, in other words, this string is connected to rigid wall, then the propagated sound will be reflected. Therefore, uh, different with the vibration, uh, vibration, in this case, the waves will be propagating into a string. That is a typical one-dimensional wave propagation problem. Propagation. Okay, the reason why we attempt to use this rather simple one-dimensional case is because one-dimensional case is a simple, therefore it's easier to understand, and we will keep using this one-dimensional case to explain other physical phenomena related with sound generation, propagation, and reception. Okay, and then we will move to the second chapter that has to do with acoustic wave equation. Acoustic wave equation. The reason why we are, we are going to study acoustic wave equation is because acoustic wave, wave equation governs everything related with the sound generation, propagation, and the reception. But, I mean, as you can feel, if you hear about acoustic wave equation, it looks very complicated and difficult to understand. Therefore, we will use, again, uh, similarly as we used for explaining vibration and waves, we will use a simple one-dimensional case. Say there is a duct, okay, and I generate a wave, acoustic wave over here, like then wave is propagating. Compared with this case, the waves inside of duct is a longitudinal wave. This case is transverse wave because the medium, the 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 fluid, the uh, string element will oscillate in this direction, but wave propagate in this direction. But this case, 
fluid oscillate in this direction and wave propagate in this direction. Therefore, we call this longitudinal wave and we call this transverse wave. So this example, very analogous with what we are going to study over here. So again, if I have rigid wall over here, wave is propagating in this direction and then, and then reflected back. And what we'll observe in this case would be very similar with what we studied in one-dimensional vibration and waves case. And then we will introduce the uh, fundamental physical measures that represent, again, generation, propagation, and reception of sound. What would be the fundamental and the physical measures that represent the acoustic wave propagation? A forced sound pressure, that will be depends on space and time. And then because we are handling the medium which is compressible as we can anticipate it using this rather simple case, the fluid particle will be, the fluid will be compressed and released by exciting the certain, uh, uh, if I exciting over here, so the fluid, if the fluid part, fluid is compressed and released, there will be a, some density change. And if there is a density change and there is a pressure change, then fluid particle will also change. So essentially, we will talk about the relation between acoustic pressure and the density and the velocity, the relation come out with the acoustic wave equation. Of course, in this chapter, we will talk about how to solve typical acoustic wave equation, and then we will also talk about the fundamental measure that has to do with the uh, uh, acoustic pressure and density and velocity. Especially, we will talk about how to measure and what would be the appropriate fundamental measure of acoustic pressure. Normally, we would, I mean, it would be a, a decibel scale, and how we hear in frequency scale, we will introduce octave, one third octave, etc. And then we will move to third chapter that hands, handles with the uh, waves uh, on flat surface of this continuity. We already uh, uh, learned how the wave will be reflected when we have the uh, rigid wall for the one-dimensional case, but we'll expand the concept to two-dimensional case. Of course, we will start with the one-dimensional case over here, too. When we have a war that has a certain mass, then because of the presence of a war, some wave will be reflected and some wave will be transmitted. We would like to know how much wave will be trans transmitted or reflected compared with the instant wave. Of course, it depends on the condition of the flat surface. Okay, this flat surface could be, uh, could have some spring and dash part, or the flat surface has a behave as if it is a plate, things like that. We will handle this problem at chapter 3. Okay, chapter 1, 2, 3 will make part 1. Therefore, part 1 essentially handles a very basic concept that has to do with one-dimensional acoustic uh, wave propagation, uh, generation propagation, and the reception. And we will, uh, uh, at part one, we will talk about fundamental acoustic wave equation and decibel scale that measures the sound pressure and, you know, octave scale uh, that has to do with the frequency scale.